Hi everyone, this is Pamela. I'm gonna attempt to show you guys how I make my paint your own cookies. Please ignore the corgi barking in the bedroom in the background. But these are silk screens. I make my paint your own by taking heat transfer vinyl and pressing it, cutting it on my Cricut, and then pressing it into 110 mesh silk. This creates a silk screen. Now you then take icing, push it over the design, and it should leave an impression on your cookie. Couple of tips about these silk transfers. They're amazing. Uh, this one, I have probably done hundreds of cookies off of this exact silk screen that you see in my hand, and it looks brand new still. These are very durable. As long as you take good care of it and hand wash it, dry it, and put them away, they last forever. If you find a little piece is starting to come up on the backside after washing, really easy. Just repress it, sticks right back to the silk. So this is my silk screen. I'm hoping to do a tutorial. Um, I watch tons of YouTube videos, lots of different cookiers giving me lots of advice on how to figure out how to make them in the first place. So what you will need for my process is a flooded cookie. I actually dip my cookies. As you can see, I get a pretty good coverage, nice and thick, but not too thick. Very easy for a kid or an adult to paint on. Nice smooth surface. Yes, there's little tiny pin bubbles, but the kids don't mind. They really don't. You don't have to drive yourself crazy. People really don't notice those itty bitty bubbles. So what I will be doing is lining up using a piece of film on a clipboard. I use an old fashioned clipboard. I'm sure this clipboard is probably older than most of the people watching this video, but it has a really nice grab up here. It's strong, it's sturdy. I had some brand new plastic ones I was using, but they just didn't hold the silk screen like I wanted to. They were a little flimsy. So I went back to this old fashioned one that has a monster grip to it. Now, as you can tell, I can't see my cookie through this silk screen. So how I line these up is number one, you can buy heat transfer vinyl that's kind of see-through, but I chose to do it this way so that I could use up all of my scraps of heat transfer vinyl um, and not waste them because I'm not doing as many shirts. So it worked perfectly but you have to figure out how to line it up. So here's where just a clear baggie that you would use to kind of house a cookie in. I use a little binder clip. I clip it to the side here so that it makes a little flap. Now I can put a cookie underneath and it lays over. So I will take my stencil, clip it to my board, and now I'm gonna lift my stencil out of the way, move that plastic piece, put a cookie down, approximately, it doesn't have to line up perfectly, just make sure it's under your design. And it looks like I need to move my baggy up a little bit. Here we go. So now, now we're going to try to print onto that baggy so I know where to line up. So as you can see, see how it's bubbly? That's okay. It's flexible. So is your cookie. Your cookie's not perfectly flat either. So what I do is I lift this back end slightly and then I'm going to apply the icing. Let's first talk about the icing. So this icing here is the consistency of dry toothpaste. That's the best way I can explain it. So if you're looking at it, 
It's a little shiny, but it is not melting back into itself. See that peak is just sitting there. It's still wet, but it's not melting back into itself. That's how thick it needs to be to scrape your design. Otherwise, it will bleed underneath and give you a mushy looking design. So a lot of people I see that have fails have failed because their icing was way too thin. It needs to be this thick, I promise. Now, normally I keep my icing in a bag, but I wanted to show you guys the consistency. So I squeezed it out into a bowl today. Now, I deliberately, for my paint your own, use a dark gray. Here's my black. I don't use black because it, it ends up discoloring the colors too easily. And this is easy to see and it kind of looks black. So this gives you a very nice design without putting too much color into your other colors. So in order to scrape your design, like I said, because this is a movable cookie here, it's flexible and so is your silk screen. I lift up this back end and I add just a little bit of icing on top. I take a squeegee, you can use a credit card, you can use any kind of surface. This is made for, for stenciling. And you're just gonna push that icing down in there. Now I lift up a little bit just so that we can get that design nice and flat. I'm pushing this icing into the design and then I just scrape it off and then scrape off the excess. You wanna make sure the design that you have, you can see the lines. You can see because the gray filled up the lines, you can see where you've missed. And it looks like I covered everything pretty good. You lift up and now you can see the outline. That is now on this. So I use that to line up my actual cookie. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna lay this one back and just put that vinyl right over my cookie and repeat the process. So I'm gonna hold that back in because it's flexible. I'm gonna smear on some icing. I'm gonna take my scraper and I'm just gonna push that icing all over the design and scrape it off. And let's see if we've got an outline fit to color. <gasps> Ta-da! There we go. So now our design is on here. Now you can see it's a little shiny where it's still wet. This dries very quickly in a matter of minutes. This icing's nice and thin. It dries really fast. And now I can show you how I attach the color dots. To finish this, I take a little bit of white and I make little dots in my corners or on a separate cookie. These are royal icing dots. It's just royal icing. Instead of you thinning it with water, I thinned it with a ton of food color. Dropped them on a parchment, let them dry, put them in little containers, and now I just attach a colored dot, just like so. Doing them this way, allows me to change up whatever colors I want to add for that moment and that design. So let's go with this nice bright yellow. You can just see those colored dots. Now, for your customers to paint these, they simply take a wet brush or a Q-tip rub it in a little bit of water, and then rub the colored dot and color in the lines.
The brushes can be found on Amazon. I get like a hundred of them for six bucks. Um, I actually, I think they're called, it's disposable eyeliner brushes. Um, they work really well and my kids love them. So there is your finished paint your own cookie using heat transfer vinyl, 110 mesh silk, silk screens. Don't mind the icing on my hands. <laughs> Thank you guys.